Hi everyone and welcome to Expeditions Viking. So, this is basically an unpronounceable names simulator. <laughs> That's what it is. Or a mix of strategy and RPG if you prefer. And I actually did a preview video in December, you might remember it. Now the game is officially out and we are going to play it. So, let's get to it, shall we? Now, this game does have a lot of text. I won't be reading all of it in order to maintain a decent pace because I don't want 20 minutes of just text reading. If you ever want to read something in detail, then feel free to pause and read everything. Anyway, first we need to create our character. Let's have a look. Well, first we need to customize the looks. I'm just going to do what I usually do in these kinds of games, randomize a few times and then stick with whatever I like <laughs> once I see something I like. So, we'll just randomize a bunch of times. Let's see, yeah, that's not too bad. We can make some changes manually if we want to. Something like this. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. And we can change the colors a little bit. Yep, that looks good. Also, the name. Marbs. And we can customize father's name. Let's see. I'll just do it a few times until I see something I like. Brun. Yep, that seems decent enough and actually pronounceable. Alright. So next up, we need to choose our stats and skills. There are a few presets, so what we can do is choose a preset and then modify it a little bit. So, how about the leader preset? Let's have a look. What does that involve? 10 strength, 4 endurance, non-existent finis, 6 perception and 8 sense. Okay. And what skills do we have here? Let's have a look. We got bow and sword. Alright. Bow rank 1 and sword rank 2. Okay then. What else do we have? Interrupt. Postpone a ranged attack until you have at least 25% chance to hit during the enemy turn, or until the enemy closes to within 6 hexes. That seems reasonable. Alright, what else do we have? Leadership. Governed by sense. Grants a bonus to both resistances and unlocks special conversation options. Oh, I like that. Special conversation options seems like a good one. Leadership rank 1, leadership rank 2. And we also have tactical move. Halves the user's moves, but allows them to move through traps and attacks of opportunity without triggering them. Yeah, that seems decent. Then we also got utility skills. Cooking. Adds a chance to give party bonuses during camping. Yeah, that seems reasonable for a leader. Then we have diplomacy. Unlocks special dialogue options. Yeah, sure. And converts meat into rations. Sure. I mean, we could always just deselect that and pick something else. If we want to, that is. We got one skill point. Some of them cost more than others. So, for example, these would cost six. This one would cost nine and so on. That was probably a reasonable choice, seeing how that only costed one. Is there anything else that costs one in here? There isn't. Okay then, that's fine. And finally, what else do we have here? Looks like nothing, basically. Alright, I think that's a reasonable build. We could lower strength by one and put that one point in something else, like endurance. If we want to, let's keep 10 straight. Why the heck not? Alright, and that's going to be our guy. Yes, I am satisfied with the character. Your father was a great warrior and a good husband. But he was not a strong chieftain to his clan. As he travels to join his brothers in the halls of Valhalla, you must take his place. Our clan is beset by petty squabbles. 
sem amongst our people would contest your claim to leadership as they saw discord our neighbors plot against us. Gather your most trusted clansmen. Together you will face dangers which none can predict. You will be challenged on your leadership, your resolve, your wisdom. Build a ship and take your housecarls across the sea. Power and strength for our clan must be sought outside the Norselands. If you show yourself to be bold, the gods will follow you into battle. Your legacy will live for a thousand years beyond your time. Our clan must prevail. Right, so that was the intro. So basically our father was a good warrior but not much of a leader and now we must take his place. And probably face people who would like to see us replaced with themselves. Alright then. It is the evening after your father's funeral. When you close your eyes, the image of his blazing ship shimmers in the dark behind your eyelids. So... We'll get an opportunity to talk with a few people. And then things will happen. I already did this part in my preview video, so I'll try to go through it relatively quickly. Now, there are a few things that are important to know about the conversations in this game, and I'm going to show you in just a moment, once we talk with someone. So, these icons, mostly. These icons indicate what's going to happen. So, this one means the conversation will end. The first one is basically small talk. You can choose this option and then go back to the previous choices. And the arrow is probably the most important one. These are choices that you have to make. So this will progress the conversation and you can only pick one of these. So you can't pick one and then go back and pick all the others. You have to decide. And this will progress the conversation past this point. So let's have a look. My father taught me everything he knew about combat. Let's not give people our word just yet when we didn't really do anything at all. <laughs> Thank you for accepting the invitation. I was hoping the king himself would attend. Yeah, that seems unlikely. And that's basically it, as far as dialogues go. We can still talk with a few people. So let's do that real quick. Sometimes we just need to go close and they will talk to us. Alright. You speak ill of my father at his own funeral feast. Nay, your father excelled at what he loved, fighting. He cared not one bit for this village. Yeah, like I said earlier, our father was a good warrior but not much of a leader, and now we must take his place. I am the rightful thane. If anyone thinks otherwise, we'll sort it out the traditional way. We'll probably have to do that one way or the other. Alright, so that's that guy. And anyone else we can talk with? I think that's basically it. No, there's one more person that we can talk with, apparently. Oh yeah, right here. The Skull Cleaver guy. Alright. That's very kind of you. Alright. Don't hesitate to ask. Tell me, what are your plans for this place? How will you lead your clan? Okay then. It's too soon for that kind of planning. I mean, it's probably a little bit too soon. <laughs> it is the funeral feast after all, so yeah. We need a new ship. Let's say we need a new ship. It sounded like we'll need one from the intro. Alright. He came to me for advice before he mounted his last journey, on account of my ties to Kaopang. I should have warned him better about what he was getting himself into. He knew what he was getting into, but he went anyway. What does Kaopang have to do with it? Okay. And that's basically it. We talked with everyone. Alright. 
So this is going to be the fun part. Actual action will follow. What a splendid feast for such a shit thing. Uh-huh. Well, this guy came to start trouble, obviously. This will not stand. Are you with me? Stay here. I'll handle them. Are you with me? By the gods, he's going to make us kill him this time, isn't he? Well, he brought it on himself, didn't he? Seems a little bit rude to interrupt us like this. Alright, we'll take all the gear and let's check the inventory. Equip the bow, the sword and the shield. Alright then, let's go outside. Most of the guests follow you outside and form a half circle behind you. You're dimly aware of the other saints muttering among themselves. Nephia runs over to Ketil to help him back on his feet. A streak of blood runs from his hair down his cheek, but it looks like he can still fight. Well, he better be able to fight. So now we can actually use some diplomacy, because we got that. Go home, you fools. I know our families have never been on good terms, but if we spill each other's blood tonight, the killing will never stop. He's right, Otar. This is not what father would want. It doesn't matter what father wants. We're here now. There is not going home with our honor. Nothing about this is honorable. Well, alright then. If you crave a fight so much, there are proper ways to handle this. Too late for second thoughts. You've gone too far, Otar. There is no honor in this. I must take Marb's side here. Hey, thanks. <laughs> well, they want to fight, so fine by me. So, combat. Combat isn't super complicated, but there are a few things that are important to know. Especially if you played a lot of, for example, XCOM, like I did. So, there is cover in this game, and there's full cover and half cover. However, you don't have to stand directly next to cover to benefit from it. You just need the cover to be in line of fire. So, for example, if we stand over here, and this guy, he's an archer, and he tries to shoot us through this cover in the middle, that will prevent him from shooting us properly. So this will still give us the benefit of cover, even though we won't be standing next to cover. So that's probably the single biggest difference. We can choose whoever we want to move, we can move and then switch to someone else. There aren't that many differences compared to XCOM, but the biggest difference is the cover. Anyway, so these are the bad guys. And there are also attacks of opportunity, so if you move into someone's melee range and then try to move out or move past him, he will get a free attack on you. So that's another important thing to know. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Let's maybe take a shot or two. That sounds like a good idea. Interrupt. Now... Halves the user's moves, but allows them to move through traps and attacks of opportunity without triggering them. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. If we move this, we'll be able to move past someone without triggering the attack. And if you point at a tile, let's say past this guy, there's an arrow that indicates that he will get an attack of opportunity right here, if we try to move past him. So you'll get full information what exactly is going to happen. If I try to move like this, I'll get attacked twice by both of these guys. So that would be a pretty bad idea, in general. We also got ranging shot. All enemies adjacent to the target hex get the free status effect spotted. Cannot use low cover, ranged attacks versus character have plus 25% accuracy. I'm just going to shoot these guys. So let's do exactly that. We can see how much damage we'll do, how many action points it will cost us. We get full information. We can see we got 21% chance to hit. And we can't hit this guy at all, for example. 0%, so... There's no point trying to shoot him, because that won't do anything. Okay. And yes, status effects. Any status effects applied to a character will show up above the hit points bar. Status effects can last anywhere from a few rounds to several in-game hours. Some are even permanent. 
And I don't think we can do much else, actually. Looks like that's about all we can do. We can move if he wants to, but I think it's reasonable if we stay here. We can move slightly to the side. Like so. We can even move again once we get someone out of the way. So let's say we'll get someone to attack the dude right next to us. What special attacks do we have? We have a stun. A melee attack that applies status effect stunned. Unable to act, cannot block. We could give that a shot. There we go. Oh, he resisted. Alright. Fair enough. I guess that's about all we can do then. Let's see. What do we have here? Quick shot. Make two ranged attacks at minus 30% accuracy each. Okay. That's still 80%? Well then. Oh no, it's not included in that number. So it would be 50% in that case. Let's take a 90% shot. Would be nice to kill at least one of these guys, you know? Yeah, that guy is almost dead. We just need to hit him one more time. There, we got a total range weapon, so that's nice. And now we can move into cover, or at least to get benefit of cover, because there's an archer in the back. We'll just move slightly in this direction. Yeah, we can move more. I mean, this dude will attack someone one way or the other, so this seems reasonable. Alright. 29 damage. And now we should be able to finish this just fine. This is not exactly supposed to be a tough fight, it's basically introduction of combat mechanics. We can also switch between our weapons and attack with melee instead, seeing how we are in melee range. And let's finish off this guy. And then, yeah, we can move towards the archer. Into cover first, and then we can take a shot. 56% chance to hit. Alright, we'll stay in cover and take a shot. There we go. 34 damage. And we can move again. You can use any combination of attacks and moves, and I like that part. Alright, the one that guy should probably stay in cover as much as possible. And now we can finish this. So this guy is ranged, so he doesn't get an attack of opportunity on us. You need to have a melee weapon equipped for that. Which means he's pretty much going to die. RIP. It's been nice knowing you. So, combat results. We can check our injuries. We have a light trauma. I think that was already there before the fight. And accept. Otar lies on the frozen earth in a small pool of his own blood. His blank eyes gaze at the sky. Okay then. So now we have a choice what we want to do. I didn't want this but you all saw what happened here. This man left me no choice. This is what happens to my enemies. Everyone here would do well to remember that. I think we need to show strength. So let's go for the second one. This is what happens to my enemies. Anyone who has a dispute with me can observe our customs and challenge me to a duel, but I will not be ambushed at my own feast. Yeah, that's a fair thing to say. Okay. I supported you here tonight because Otar and his brothers were out of line. It is not the way of our clan to kill each other in drunken brawls. Marbs, son of Bron, I challenge you to a duel for the position of Thane. Okay. Well, that was going to happen. It's his right to issue such a challenge. His timing could be better, though. Alright, why do you challenge me? The seat of the Thane should never be passed from father to son like a sword or a horse. If our clan is to endure, 
We must ensure that we are ruled by the strongest and most wise among us. Oh, so that's you, I see how it is. Or at least that's what he thinks, that's him. I accept your challenge. Okay then. So now we get to prepare. If we want to. Let's have a chat first. Before we do anything else. Well fought. The clan is at war with itself. Was father really such a poor thing? Brun was always more a warrior than a leader, but he was no worse than most. There will be another fight tomorrow, yep. I know he is a skilled warrior. He would do well to make some preparations. What can we do? It may not seem like it right now, but most of our clan remains loyal to us, if nothing else. Then because they'd prefer you as Thane over a slave. Go to Holda in the bog and ask for her help. She's old and wise and has many ways to weaken a man. Poison, I want to beat him, not kill him. <laughs> I don't like to deal with that witch. It will take more than an old hag's brew to beat him. Well, I don't want to kill him. There is another option. Okay. We can set a trap. Other than that, some equipment. Alright then, so we can do all of these things, we can do some of them, or we can do nothing at all. These are optional, we can do it, but we don't have to. So, I think we should. First of all, let's take a look at the map. So these are points of interest, our objectives. There's the blacksmith. Let's go and have a talk with him. We do have diplomacy and things like that, so we might be able to convince him. Okay. It's been a long time coming. Seems like everyone anticipated the attack except me. <laughs> well, it seems like it. Oh, it's no secret he has been fixing to challenge your family for years, but no one expected an attack during the feast. That is just disgraceful. I wish you hadn't had to kill them, but under the circumstances, I'm not sure how it could have been avoided. Alright, so can you help us? He doesn't want to get involved. I don't plan to kill him. I just have to beat him to defend my seat. Such things rarely go according to plan. Okay. Leadership 1. He's a strong warrior. I need him and his axe to defend the clan from our enemies. But you know our clan is safer and stronger with me in charge. Denying my request will not keep him safe. It will only put me in danger. Okay, let's go for the leadership part. He does have poor head for tactics, but I will not give you steel to swing against him. However, I can help you stay safe. Here, let me get you a good sturdy set of quilted armor. It will serve you better than that shirt you're wearing. Alright, that's good enough. Thanks. Alright, so that's the first part done. Now we can go and see about the traps. That should help. I mean, especially seeing how we are basically a ranged character, at least partially. So, are you on my side of this dispute? Seems like it. So, you might know a few tricks to aid me in a duel. Is it possible to trap a man one might trap a bear? A trap for combat. Interesting idea. Reminds me of something your uncle told me once. Okay. That sounds ridiculous. That's ingenious. Can you do it? I don't think he would be dumb enough to fall for that. Well, can you do it? It hinges on whether he expects a trap and how well it's hidden. Okay. Let's try it then. So that part is also done and now we can go and talk with the witch. Let's go and do that. Off we go. Right here. That's the last part. And then we'll have to fight. We can zoom in quite close. <laughs> A little bit too close to be useful. 
Why are you All right. here? The witch's apprentice is tending the candles around an old tree. Oh, okay, so that's the apprentice. All right, don't talk to me like that. I'm here to see Holda. Are you sure? Today isn't one of her good days. What do you mean by that? Some days she's all there, other days her mind travels. Okay. Has she been this way for long? Long enough that I'm used to it. It's gotten worse lately, though. That must have been hard on you, will you fetch her anyway? Okay. Let's see if the crone is still of any use. I'll ask her to come out. All right. Let's find out how useful she's going to be. We've got visitors. We've got visitors. Right? It's the Thane. Come out and say hello. The old witch emerges from her burrow, supported by her brooding apprentice. She stops a few yards outside the hut and blinks at you confused. What are you doing home so soon? Did you decide not to go? What are you talking about? I made an offering to Thor when you left. Okay. This is Marbs, the son of Brun and Astid. Do you remember him? Of course I remember. Don't give me that look. Like I wouldn't remember. <laughs> Why are you here? I need help with a duel? Okay. Quiet girl. For a long moment nobody speaks. Hold us eyes bore into you long past the point of discomfort. Then they seem to glaze over. Okay, I need you to make me a poison. Of course I'll help you. I always do what I can for you. You already said that. Don't lie, useless cow. I know what I said. I'm not an idiot. You're not well today. Your memory... Get out of here. Go. I don't want to see you here again. Don't you ever come back here, you lying god. <laughs> that went well. That's the first time today she banished me forever. She'll call me back when she wets her bed again. You shouldn't talk to her that way. But she was right. You told the same story twice. I think we're done here. I hope you get well. There's nothing wrong with me. It's just that evil girl. Fine, get out of here and don't ever come back. Well, that went well. Let's talk with the apprentice. You have nothing to apologize for. Alright, so can we get that poison after all? How much of that knowledge did she pass on to you? Okay, some. It's a powder. If he ingests this in the morning, he'll barely be able to stand at noon. How will I get him to eat it? I'll bring him a concoction and tell him it will make him stronger and ensure the gods will favor him tomorrow. <laughs> Won't that make him seek revenge on you? If you win, you can protect me. Please make sure you win. <laughs> Fair point. So there we go. That's the third one. And now we get to fight him. First, we need to go and rest. However, I think that's a good moment to make a cut. So I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.